Hey guys and welcome back to the new video of the MKR developer channel. I'm Mohsen and I want to show you how to implement dark theme in your applications. Let's go. Here I have created this layout. Uh, I have a card view and image view in the middle of it and a text view here. And a switch to change the state from the dark, the light or from the light to the dark. These are the codes regarding to the layout if you want. To copy them i'm going to slowly scroll down and feel free to pause the video and copy them and also you can find the link of the whole project down below in the description box okay uh, as you may know here we have uh, automatically a uh, dark theme if i'm clicking on this you will see that by default the Android Studio will make a dark theme for you and you can use it but there is other ways to customize this I will show you in this video two ways to customize uh, your dark theme but first of all let's uh, use this default mode and then we will come back to the customization for this uh, in the main activity I have uh, initialized the switch here, the switch compat, and I have uh, used this function to check the state of this switch. Here I'm going to write if uh, it's checked. It can be a bit confusing, so I'm going to start from the end to the beginning and this can make it easier uh, so we are checking the state of the switch if it's not checked that means we are on the day mode so else will be dark mode here we have to implement the dark mode okay what we should write up uh, compat delegate dot set default night mode again app compat delegate dot mode night yes and the reverse for the day here instead of yes we will write no with capital base characters okay now we can check it on the emulator light and dark but when we are closing the app and opening it again uh, again we can see the light mode so we have to uh, save the state of this switch in the shared preferences if you don't know how to use the shared preferences you can click on this link and watch the video about it and here i'm going to create the shared preferences equals to get Share it preferences and here we need a name i'm going to write mode no matter we are not going to use this name and uh, anything you can write instead of mode then context with the capital c and uh, then dot mode private okay Again, let's start from the end to the beginning. Here, uh, we have to put the state of this uh, switch in this shared preferences. So we need an editor. Here, I'm going to create another value and equals to, uh, sorry, uh, editor equals to shared preferences dot edit 
and uh, here editor dot put boolean and name night true and uh, editor dot upload and here the same editor dot uh, put boolean with the same name because we are going to use this name again uh, night and false and editor dot apply okay uh, we put the state of the switch into the shared preference and uh, now we have to check it here so here we need another value i'm going to call it uh, night mode equals to shared preferences dot get boolean and uh, we are checking which boolean the last time is saved into the shared preferences this true or this false and the key is the name it can it should be it has to be the same with these two names and then uh, a default value which will be false so uh, if this is the first time that we are opening the application and we didn't touch this uh, switch anymore uh, we want to see the app in the light mode so this should be false and now we are checking uh, this value if so this value is a boolean night mode that means if it's true and if this is true that means uh, the state of the switch is true and we are on the uh, night mode so here the state of switch should be true and we have to change the mode to the dark mode okay that's everything for the Kotlin file uh, let's check it on the emulator now okay we are on the dark and on the light i'm going to close it and opening it again and we are on the light now it's on the dark i'm going to close it and it still is on the dark mode so now let's check uh, how we can customize it uh, if you want to use the default uh, version of the dark mode so that's enough for you and if you want to know how to customize it be with me uh, if you are satisfied of this video till now please uh, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and let's go further here into the resources package into the values uh, we have uh, these themes as you see by default we have a dark theme and uh, a light theme i'm going to open both of them uh, 
if you want to customize like one of the widgets uh, and in this video i'm going to choose only this text view to show you the rest you can do anything you want with it uh, here you have to create your own style for this widget i'm going to name it the text view uh, underscore style and inside it we need item the name android text color and here uh, just like them you can mention any color you want so we are in the light theme so here i'm going to use a dark color add sign color black or i'm going to click on it customize it like a dark gray or something like that is good and now i'm going to copy this and here i will paste it and i'm going to select another color or maybe here this red is good and inside the xml file i'm going to find this text view and here i'm going to write a style uh, and add sign a style a slash what was the name the text view style so text view style let's check it on the emulator in the night mode this text color is red and in the light mode is dark gray okay that was one way to use it and the other way i'm going to delete this here again into the project we have this uh, color so i'm going to right click here new value resource file and i'm going to name it colors again here we have a night mode i'm going to select it press this button and instead of this not night i'm going to select night then okay we have now uh, two color files so between these two tags we can write uh, anything we want we don't need this theme and here also we don't need this i'm going to open both color files here i'm going to create a color with the name of text color and its value we are in the day in the light theme so we need a dark color uh, it can be black or again it can be any color you want dark brown or something like that for the day and i'm going to copy this and paste it here and this time maybe blue and into the xml file instead of the default color i'm going to write text color can be add sign color text color this one and as you see is dark brown now maybe we can change it to something like that and now it's better 
Okay, let's check it on the emulator. In the day mode is uh, brown and in the night mode is blue. And that is the customizing ways uh, in the dark theme. Okay, that was everything about this video and uh, thank you for your support if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up to help this video be watched with more people thank you very much bye bye